Uh, welcome to the Busy Coder Academy. It's a announcement for you. We are going to start. We are going to start a new course on uh, uh, cloud native application development with the Spring Boot. And cloud native application is a very important buzzword, right? It is a new modern way of writing the backend application, right? So our preferred framework is Java backend, that is called Spring Boot framework, right? So this batch is going to start from 16 March, and timing would be 8 to 10 p.m. And it would be three uh, three days a week: Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? And this training is basically project-based training, and it is divided into a few modules, right? Uh, one is Spring Core and Spring Boot, microservice, and uh, the cloud part. And then we are going to learn Docker and Kubernetes, right? So these are the components. That means it is a full-fledged training, right? You don't have to join any other training after this. And if you practice, you can crack uh, lots of interviews, and you can also depict uh, the experience to the different companies, right? So let me talk about little bit about the course outline, right? Not in detail, but let uh, at least the basic idea, right? So we are going to uh, start with the Spring Core, and this training is going to start from the scratch, right? We don't assume that you know Spring framework, and we are going to start with the Spring dependency injection, and then we are going to cover aspect-oriented program, aspect-oriented programming. So dependency injection and aspect-oriented programming is very important topic. They actually are fundamental of Spring framework. So once we understand DI and AOP, we are going to move to Spring Boot actually. So what is Spring Boot? Spring Boot is a wrapper on Spring Framework and it makes your software development easy. It's a rapid application development framework and even it is a de facto standard while you create microservice in Java world. So we are going to go deep dive into RESTful web service and we are going to understand Spring data in depth, joins and all the performance considerations. We are going to cover Spring testing actually. And then afterward, we are going to uh, use Spring Security. So Spring Security is the worst topic. We are going to do a module like a basic auth and JWT, right? And then we are going to move to microservice. So microservice is uh, not a framework, actually. It's a set of design pattern which govern distributed modern applications. So we have many uh, frameworks to implement those design pattern, like Eureka is there, Spring Cloud Gateway is there, Zool Proxy is there, and then we have API Gateway, so we have so many frameworks, right? So all these frameworks are going to discuss in detail actually while implementing microservice design uh, frameworks actually, right? Design pattern. So, and we are also going to cover asynchronous messaging using RabbitMQ and Kafka. And we are also going to use application monitoring using Prometheus and Grafana, right? So these are uh, important frameworks. If you go in any interview, you are supposed to uh, know all these frameworks, right? So once we create a microservice project, we are going to create a bank application. And uh, why I've chosen the bank application? Because I have opportunity to apply transaction management, security, caching, and all those cross-cutting concerns. And then we are going to divide this microservice, uh, this, this project into multiple microservice, and we coordinate them using different uh, tools, which is, govern, which, is given by, uh, which is given by open source community, right? So these are the microservice uh, development part. After that, we are going to move to uh, cloud, actually. We, we are not going to learn cloud from the administrative point of view. We are going to get a uh, basic understanding of GCP, right? How GCP account you can create and how you can create uh, spin a machine and how you can do the basic Linux command. So we are also going to cover the basic Linux command, which is very essential nowadays, right? So after that, we are going to move to the Docker. And Docker is a containerization technology, and we are going to deploy our Spring Boot application on the Docker. And we are also going to cover uh, Kubernetes, which are very important, uh, uh, you can say, uh, very important tools nowadays for the software development. And uh, we are going to cover various topics for Kubernetes like pod, replica set, deployment service, config map, secure, uh, secret. And uh, we are going to create Spring Boot CRUD application, right? And we are going to make the lifecycle with the uh, Kubernetes, right? And we are also going to deploy our Spring Boot microservice project with the GCP. We are going to create our own cluster. Initially, while learning, we are going to use a kind cluster, which is a kind of mini cube. And uh, but that is very, very essential while learning. And once you learn, we are going to deploy our application on the cloud, right? Okay. So this concludes the course syllabus, and we are also going to do multiple projects on various modules, right? So you have golden opportunity to polish your skills. And uh, this course pricing is uh, very nominal, right? Uh, just to help you out. Initially, uh, the uh, initial cost design was 10,000 rupees, but uh, on the request of the participant and the students, I have uh, decreased it to 7,000 uh, 7, rupees, right? So I think anybody can uh, afford this price, right? 
and uh, you will get the recording you will get the notes and one more things actually you will also get uh, some prerequisites recording of my premium courses which i have done earlier definitely you cannot download the uh, material right you will only view the material you cannot share with anybody right so this is the whole idea about this course right so please ping me on my whatsapp number if you want to join the course and uh, you can avail a special discount as i told you right okay so bye for now take care